Day 12 of Brown's training camp is in the books here in Berea. And Mary Kay, this was really the first day where Jacoby Brissett got a lot of work with the ones. Kevin Stefanski has said that has been part of the plan all along. Now the preseason game number one is in the books. Joint practice is coming later this week. Jacoby is working with the first team. Yeah, Dan, it is Jacoby time. <laughs> it's time to get him ready to start that season, or season opener against the Carolina Panthers. He was out there with the ones today for the majority of the time. And then, of course, we saw Deshaun Watson come in with the twos. It was a little weird to see it happen that way, but it's time for this to happen because that opener is less than a month away. It's time to get him ready. And Ashley, Jacoby's probably not going to play on Sunday against Philadelphia, but game three, which Kevin still sees as that dress rehearsal game, we're going to see a lot of him between now and the opener in Carolina. Yeah, and Kevin basically confirmed on Friday that we would see Jacoby Brissett in game three after that first game against Jacksonville. But we know, too, they have the joint practices with the Eagles coming up later this week and how much that is really valued here in Berea because it's a controlled setting, and that way you don't have to play your starters and risk injury during the actual game on Sunday. But, of course, just because Jacoby's getting reps with the ones, Mary Kay doesn't mean we aren't seeing Deshaun Watson at all. Yeah, you know what? He was out there today. I saw him throw some really nice passes. Uh, he he found David Bell down the left sideline. I mean, he just he looks, uh, you know, like he bounced back pretty well from his bad game the other night. And um, and once again, David Bell was back out there, so that's good. They need all the help that they can get at receiver. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, it's flip flopped, <laughs> but they still have to get Deshaun ready to play. Yeah, because as of right now, Ashley, and we're still waiting on this appeal hearing, he will be back week seven. Yeah, that's currently the state of things. So we know that Kevin Stefanski always talks about liking to control what they can control, and this is part of it. So right now it seems like they're just operating as if Deshaun Watson is not going to be here for six games, and when they have more information, they'll adjust. And that's something we've tried to get at with Kevin Stefanski this training camp. There are basically multiple plans in place. They're not going to divulge the details of all of them, but they'll switch things up and adapt when they have to. Now, one other thing, uh, Ethan Posich talked today, and as of right now, Mary Kay, he is the number one center on this team with Nick Harris, likely done for the done for the year or, you know, really at best just done for a long time. Still, though, is there any chance this team could add a center? You know, I think they are prepared to roll with Ethan Posich. It really seems like uh, at this moment they are not interested in J.C. Treader. We know that Joel Batonio would love to have him uh, based on the fact that they're best friends and uh, he really values uh, what J.C. Treader brings to the table. Uh, but he feels good about Ethan too. Kevin Stefanski certainly does. And it seems at this point that they're going to roll with that. Now, the good thing about that is Jacoby and Ethan have been taking second team reps together throughout the whole offseason program, so they have some chemistry. And the good news, Ashley, is, you know, if there is good news in this injury, it's that it happened early, so he's going to get a lot of time to work with Betonio and Teller, and, you know, he's already worked with Brissett, but the rest of that first team line. Yeah, he's going to have at least, you know, like we've said, uh, basically a month until that week one game against Carolina, if it is, in fact, Ethan Posich. Now, when we talked to him, you know, he was wavering a little bit, didn't want to actually say if he'd be working with the ones, but Kevin Stefanski came out a couple hours later and said, no, he'll be taking the first team reps today. So that's where things stand. He does have some time to especially get used to playing alongside Joel Batonio and Wyatt Teller, you know, the two Pro Bowl guards that he'll be right in the middle of if it is in fact him. All right, a light practice here on a Sunday as the Browns are gearing up for those joint practices at the end of the week. We'll have coverage of everything that happened today and everything moving forward all at cleveland.com slash Browns.